Hello Scorpio, welcome to my channel. This will be a reading for the week of the 11th of July. Please do bear in mind that these are general readings so it may not resonate for everybody. Take what does, leave what doesn't. And uh, do like, share and subscribe. I very much appreciate that. So I will be reading the coffee cup. Then I'll be pulling out some cards. What's the end? This is the Golden Nauvoo Tarot deck. Uh, I have the link in the description box with the other decks. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, so... Scorpio. Let's see what we have. Scorpio. Wow. Okay. Well, there's lots of very hmm, different things. One thing I have to say, decisions is a big thing. It's been playing on your mind. You know, it's coming. You must make a decision. This is what I'm getting right now. For some, it could feel like a snap decision, although... This is something that you have been thinking about meticulously. But it will feel like, you know, it's kind of been there, it's been there, it's been there when you're going to do it. And then finally, you kind of, you jump at it. It's like an opportunity may, may be coming in and you just jump at the chance to to do it. Um, but it, it's a, an important decision and it's just something that... You know, for some, I see that you may be worried there could be some judginess. Or some people may be quite judgmental. Uh, maybe for, for, for the few, that's what's been holding you back. Uh, never mind them. And I see that, you know, you're, you're rising above that. You're rising above, you know, certain uh, challenges from others, perhaps, that's, that think you are not doing you know, that, that have their own opinions, that are sort of judging in that way. That's what I see here. But past that, um, it is time to go ahead with certain things that you have been planning or wanting to plan. I do see that you will become very proactive with this. It's time to, you're being very productive and proactive and things are shifting along. Once you make that move, and it's like once you make that move, then things are on a roll. You don't have to kind of, there's not much to worry about, you know, after that. There's a certain, um, you're up for the challenge. You're up for like certain risks, but you're up for those challenges as well. Not that it's anything too, um, too worrisome. Worrisome. It's not. It's, it's, you'll be surprised by how things are, um, kind of uh, going ahead for quite smoothly so I do see certain things here that you've been pondering about and now it's you know you need to decide on something and it can be quite special something very special and unique to you um, I do see there is something that has that, that is uh, very prosperous for you that's coming in high in prosperity I do see that um, you know, I, I, there have been some difficulties that you've, you've gone through, um, you know, it felt like challenge after challenge, but there's, you know, again, it will feel like it comes in right there in front of you suddenly, but it's something you've been manifesting for quite some time, if that makes sense. You know, it's like, Maybe you didn't, you, it's, it's unexpected. You didn't expect that to appear when it does. There's also a deep connection, you know, matters of the heart, a deep connection that is coming through. And it's actually saying here to give it a try. So for some, I do see somebody coming in that may not appear as you you know, may not be somebody that you thought you would be with in terms of like maybe physical appearance or whatnot. Um, is it is just something that maybe you want expecting of yourself? Um, you know, maybe there there's just something there that you didn't expect, but it ends up being something really good, really you know, quite beautiful and and unique and special, whatever that could be or mean to you, that is what is coming through here as well. So it's like looking past the physical, 
you look in past, you know, not judging a book by its cover. And I'm not saying that you do. That's not what I'm saying. But there's just something that you will, you will surprise yourself over, whatever that could be. But it's con connected with a person, you know, and maybe it's not even just the physical thing. It's just someone that, you know, you never thought you would connect to if you already know them. They were just always like just you just never even saw it. And then suddenly something happens. So I do see that. I do see that. There's budding friendships also happening um, around you. Um, there's a lot of maneuvering, you know. You've been trying to really kind of maneuver with with your day-to-day, -day, with certain uh, things. Um, but that is when these choices in front of you, you need to make a decision on. Also, I do feel like you, you may feel like there's some pressure. Somebody's trying to hurry you and um, there is, it, it's like you will show them that they must respect you in that way. you kind of like um, facing up to them and it, it's all you're wanting to do is relax. So you don't appreciate being kind of pushed or, or hurried Um this could be a work situation, home situation. There's something there where you're like needing. You, when that happens, you realize, okay, I need to relax. So there's something there that you and you get given a, a break. You know, um, I'm seeing like uh, Scorpio. You've been wishing a lot on a, on like a, you know that I am seeing a star. I mean, uh, wishing upon a star. Of course, but th there's something there to do with a star. I get, I, you know, that's very specific. It's what I'm seeing, but it could signify a certain wish fulfillment. You know, perhaps you you do look, you do like to look at the the, the stars, and when you do, that's when you kind of you send out your, um, you, you you know, you speak what you desire. Um, so you. You are ma something is on its way manifesting, if that makes sense. So there is something on its way. Oh, that was a lot. This is a very interesting cup, by the way. It's very different from all the rest. Scorpio. Okay, Eight of Swords makes sense. Makes sense. <laughs> page of Page of Knights. One. Um. Oh dear me, Knight of Wands, <laughs> and then the Wheel of Fortune. Yes, you see. Trying to situate yourself, trying to like, you're you're like uh, needing to make a decision, not wanting to be kind of stuck in one place. There is something that's coming through, some sort of help in some way, an assistance. You know, this can come in in any shape or form. It doesn't necessarily have to be a person, although I, most likely it, it, it is. But there's some inspiration that's coming in towards you that's really going to help you finally. Um, turning a new page there's a new chapter starting for you Scorpio and it's a big one it's one that you know this is kind of like something has been holding you down but you are removing yourself from that you are cutting those cords oh and then we get the ten of swords and then the four of swords oh Scorpio you see you are coming to the decision to finish end something as I was saying cutting that cord once you do that's it for you, there's no looking back. You're going ahead. And and then it's, it's like that situation I was telling you about. This is the confirmation here where, you know, you realize you can't be in an, a particular situation that you have been in. And now it's time for you to break away from that. Here, this is the relaxing thing I was talking about. You taking a rest, taking a break. Um, since that's come out, it seems like that's very, very much needed, Scorpio. And it's so you can continue being proactive with the things that you truly want. I think there's going to be a sudden change. Oh, and we get the Queen of Scorpio. Look how wonderful this is for you. Look how wonderful. You see how, how, and as I was saying, like it's some kind of something that will feel like it's sudden because it's like, okay, you've gone through all of this. You realize it's decision time. You take it, wheels turn, something ends. You you need a, a, a certain a break from all of that. As you're resting, there's like a resting period, a quiet period. Like, 
you know, just you being still and in the present, then boom, it all comes together here with the Queen of Cups. And there's also this love that is blossoming, I have to say. For those of you looking for a love connection, there is something very, again, particular, something unique and special to you, this connection that is growing. But also a new, you're stepping into a new light here. You're stepping into a new chapter, Scorpio. And it's, it's, You've actually been manifesting this for a long time. If you make the right decisions, this is what appears. This is what happens. And you're able to do it. You know, you've been like maneuvering. You've been, you know, kind of moving and moving, like skating, like, you know, going from one place to that place and back again and so on and so on. And it's like, and then you just start skating in, in one circle but you need to break that circle and then you land on your feet and then you're walking on the path that you want. My metaphors are a bit strange, I know, sorry, but <laughs> I hope that that made sense. <laughs> um, yeah, so the Queen of Cups is a very special, special message, a special card. It's it's one that is full of, um, you know, the, the heart is fulfilled. The cup is full. It's very promising for you, Scorpio. And there's a high intelligence. You're using not just your heart, but definitely a lot with your mind as well. Um, and you're utilizing that. You're utilizing all your knowledge, what you know, and how to, you know, put it into practice. Mm, very good. Love this for you, Scorpio. I hope this was helpful. Thank you all so very much for your support. I truly do appreciate it. Truly, truly, truly. Please do take care of yourselves. Until next time.